<gasps> oh. I want to show you guys this tarantula really quick before it hides. Check it out out oh my goodness so so gorgeous it was actually gifted to me at the tarantula takeover show a few weeks ago this is the enclosure that it came in so as you can guess it needed a little bit of an upgrade pretty quickly and i didn't film the upgrade because it just i wanted to get it in the new enclosure as fast as possible speaking of the enclosure though check it out this is such a cool enclosure it might look like a treehouse enclosure and it's the same size as a medium treehouse enclosure except this one is actually different the top part actually comes off so this is the medium tree house that I have and as you can see the top does not come off and it just opens from the front and I love this but oh my goodness I've been asking tarantula cribs for a top opening enclosure like front and side opening enclosure for so long and they finally made it happen with these switch enclosures so let's try feeding this guy a cricket and see if he takes it oh my god that was so fast there's like purple on the carapace blue in the legs another good shot so I just put the lid back on it because it started acting a little sketchy. There's the tree house. Here is the canopy, the medium canopy. I love the medium canopy because I love the little roofs. And a lot of you guys have been getting the canopy tops as well. So much so that Tarantula Cribs even made a canopy attachment that you can put on these cube enclosures, which I've been doing a lot. So if you want a top opening enclosure, these are awesome because you can just open it from the top like that. So now if you have like a tarantula or a spider in a switch enclosure and you want to kind of upgrade them, give them a little bit more room the canopy tops are perfect so now there's all this extra space that I've just added by putting the top on this also if you're not into backgrounds the background comes off as well literally these enclosures are like the future it's literally like the best of all worlds so I actually have a couple spiders that I want to rehouse into the new switch enclosures that I was recently given but before we do that I wanted to thank today's video sponsor who is of course tarantula cribs so I've been using tarantula cribs enclosures since their very start they started here in st. Louis and I was among one of the first they gave enclosures to and said hey can you try out our product I pretty much use exclusively tarantula cribs enclosures for all of my true spiders all of my tarantulas actually any kind of bug that you guys have that needs to be housed the tarantula cribs enclosures are the way to go oh my god gumbo what are you doing what is happening oh that's what you want you want to eat that plant Wait, what was I talking about? Oh, so thank you so much Tarantula Cribs for all of these enclosures and for sponsoring today's video. And if you ever decide to shop with them, remember I am an affiliate. I have a discount code for you guys. It's CAT10. It'll save you 10% off of any Tarantula Cribs purchase anytime and it helps out my channel. So we are going to be rehousing a tarantula and a jumping spider. So I'm going to put the tarantula in the medium one with a canopy top. And I'm going to be putting the jumping spider in a small treehouse switch because it comes in small too and large. And I've got the top extensions for this one as well. So let's get started. We're going to do the jumping spider first because I feel like the tarantula is going to be a little bit of a butt. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's got the background. So cool. This would be an amazing attachment for a mantis, just like this. That is really cool. I think even a jumping spider would appreciate it. And it's like a very soft material. It's not like a hard wiry mesh. But of course, we are going to be living large with the canopy top enclosure. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I love this. This is so cool. It's like the perfect size for a jumping spider for like a small species of jumping spider, which is what I'm rehousing into it. So this is just going to be like a nice little extra amount of space. It's like the perfect size in between this and this. Let's do some substrate. So over the substrate, we're going to use this frog moss. I love this stuff. Oh, whoa. Look at this big chunk. I think we'll have to save that for the medium. This might be good. Let's see. I have to play around a little, see what works the best. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect fit. <gasps> so for fun, I actually made these. They're little ladders, and I made them out of a wood that chinchillas and stuff can chew and eat. So I knew they would be, like, pet safe. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. <gasps> Look at it. We absolutely need a couple little mushrooms. And I am actually going to see if I can move this jumping spider in. Um, unfortunately, when I glued this piece of wood to the top, it actually ended up coming unglued. So that's part of why I want to rehouse them. Just because it doesn't seem like the 
best. It's such a cool piece of wood though. I wonder if I should use this in the new enclosure at all. Oh yeah, that looks great. That's perfect. I also want to reuse this adorable little hide. So we'll move that on over as well. And of course that's going to go on the very top. Okay, now let's try to move this little one over very carefully. We're pretty bolty, so. Yeah. Check them out. Look at that cute little face. You want to go in your new home? You're like, no, I don't know what that is, but I think you're going to like it. Hi. Right on the ladder. <laughs> oh my God, it's so stinking cute. You like it? I think it is a fan for sure. So cute with the canopy top. It's so cool. Look at that. So I guess now let's rehouse this tarantula and I'm gonna have to like dig it up. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Okay, let's do some substrate. So Samopeus actually do like substrate. They use it a lot of the time. As you'll see, they are arboreal, but they actually like make their little webs here in the bottom part. So like you see this like hole, it lives in there which will be a lot of fun. I did get another cork too because they do seem to really enjoy those. Ooh, this might be, that might be better. Which one should we do? You know what, I think I'll break this. Yeah, cause this one, look this way, it can get in the substrate at the bottom. And we'll throw a little bit of moss in there to make it cute too. All right, so what is awesome about rehousing into this enclosure with the scary Samopea species is that I can do it a little bit easier because I can work from getting it in at the top and the side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you see how this is all connected and everything? I am going to do this and work with it from in here. I should be able to do that. Let's see, do I even see the spider? Hmm, like I see the mole right up here. I can't tell what I'm looking at. Oh, oh it's so good I have this option. <laughs> it is so good to have this option for sure. And you can also use these as a catch cup pro tip, just saying, works great. <gasps> oh, it is right there. Oh my goodness, such a close call, you guys. Oh my God, I thought the molt was the spider. I hate when I'm doing that and I'm rehousing. Okay, what approach are we gonna do, you guys? I think what would be best, I come in peace, my friend. Yes, I see that you have grown. I have a fortress for you. Yep, yep, yep. You are going in the right direction. Good job. Good job, friend. Not this way. You wanna go the other way, yep. Nope, not that way either. Yes. There you go. 
See how easy it is when you can work from the side and the top? I'm telling you, that is like my least favorite thing about rehousing arboreal tarantulas. That was not that bad at all. And now all I have to do is hopefully, very carefully, there we go. But that is it for today's video. So thank you again Tarantula Cribs for supplying these enclosures and for sponsoring the video. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm Instagram videos probably way too much as tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pet.